you'll know you're ready to start weaving because your tree has all of its branches. You will also need a pair of scissors, a colorful yarn needle, and a color of yarn. When you've chosen your color of yarn for the branches, and you can have any color, um, you wanna stretch this yarn out and cut a piece that won't get tangled and that is long enough to do some good weaving. So I'm gonna cut it about two arms lengths and I'll show you that in person. It's hard to show on this camera. Then you cut your yarn. This yarn ball can go back in the drawer for someone else to use. Now I will need um, a little piece of tape or I can use the tape that I have already used and that's just fine. I'm just gonna stick another piece of yarn under there it doesn't need to like permanently hold it because eventually we will be putting glue, but for now, that's just fine. So I'm just gonna bring that yarn around to the front and I'm gonna get to start weaving. So I can do this with the yarn needle or I can do this with my fingers, but the idea with weaving is that we're gonna be going over and under, over and under each yarn. And then when we go back the other way, we go the opposite. So. If I want to put it on the needle to help me with this, I sure can. I use kind of that pinching, pushing motion with the tail of the yarn with only that little bit sticking out, pull it through, and I don't tie this. I just leave it folded. So you just wanna make sure as you're pulling your yarn, you're not pulling from the needle, you're pulling from the folded yarn. So you're pulling there. If you pull from the needle, that yarn is gonna slip out and you don't want that. <clears throat> so here I go. I'm gonna decide over, under, over, under. I'm gonna go under the second, over, under, over, under, and pull all the way through. Now this first thing of yarn, I'm gonna just push it up to the top. And don't forget your last branch. Make sure you go the opposite. So do you see how this yarn is on top of it here? Now for my next row, I'm gonna start by going under that one. Under, over, under, over, under, over. All the way across. And then I'm gonna pull all the yarn through. And I'm not gonna pull so hard that it's gonna warp my tree. Like I don't wanna do that. If that happens, just gently tug it back. Push your yarn up as far as it'll go, and then start again with the opposite pattern. So you notice this tree branch, I went underneath. So this time I'm gonna start going over, under, over, under, over, under, over, okay? And then I pull all my yarn through, push my yarn up, check my last branch, and repeat. So this one, I started over, now this row I'm gonna go under. When I reach the part where my yarn starts to be folded over, I can pull that tail so it's a little shorter on my needle and then I can keep going. When it's so short it falls off the needle, you can simply pull it through with your fingers. You just simply keep weaving until all the yarn is used up. It's best to end kind of in the middle of the tree and then just tuck that and tail, just push it in, and that's just fine. 
Now I can get my next piece of yarn and keep going. This one, it might be better if it starts underneath the tree and comes out on a middle branch. Again, this can be taped on the back. And now I can put this yarn on my needle and I can weave again, repeating the most recent row that didn't finish. Hold it by the fold or you're gonna end up with what I had happen. You'll have to put your needle on. That gets annoying. It's gonna get a little more tricky to tell it over as and over you go. Under. Needs to stop. But you'll figure it out. When you've decided your tree has enough branches, enough leaves, you can weave by hand until you reach close to the end of your yarn, so like this. Um, then you can, again, sort of tuck it underneath, bring it out through the top, and bring it back through one of those notches that you've already done. Then this yarn on the back is then ready to go. This is, means that your tree is totally done. It looks awesome. I think it really does look good. Um, again, be careful though. You don't want to pull that last string too tight. Just loosen that up a little bit if needed. When you're totally done with all of your yarns, you can then grab some liquid glue, turn your plate over on the back, and dab, dab, dab along all of those edges. Take off your tape, because it will all be glued down, and then set this to dry. You can photograph it before uh, you set it to dry, but this is a completed lovely tree.